The softmax activation function is used in the output layer of multi-class classification networks to convert real valued outputs into probabilistic outputs. But to understand how that works, let's consider this example. So here we have an image of our animal and our multi-class classification network is trying to classify it as a horse, a dog or a cat. And the z values are my real valued outputs in the final layer. Now to classify the animal, I can simply take a simple majority and say that this is an uh, image of a dog. But this is not very interpretable, right? The final values. So how, what does minus 0 0.5 mean? What does 2 mean? And what does 1 mean? And how different uh, is a value of 2 from a value of minus 0 0.5? So now we need to convert all these values into probabilistic values to interpret them. Uh, but and what would be a simple strategy to just take the probability values? Just divide a, a single value by sum of all the values. So 2 divided by the sum of all the values will convert that into a probability metric. But the problem here is there are negative values in our vector, right? And there is no such thing as a negative probability. So in order to avoid this, we use the softmax activation function. So instead of directly dividing a value by the sum of the values, first we take the exponentiation of each of these values and divide the exponentiation by the sum of the exponentiation. So we have our z vector here. First, I take the individual exponents and then I take the sum of all the exponents and then take the probability values. And this softmax activation function also has an added benefit. So you see a very small difference between 1 and 2 uh, in the final output layer becomes a very big difference in terms of the probability output. So 0 0.69 and 0 0.25. And that's why we use the softmax activation function.